Hi guys and welcome to this week's weapons review. You guys requested it and so here it is. It is the MG42. So it's taken me a while to get this to, to get this video up. Uh, basically there's been a whole bunch of problems going on behind. But uh, let me go into a little bit of historical information about the MG42 for you. The MG42, uh, uh, shortened for Germans Maschengewehr 42 or Machine Gun 42, is a 7.92 by 57mm Mauser general purpose machine gun designed by Nazi Germany and used extensively by the Wehrmacht and uh, the Waffen SS during the second half of World War II. It was intended to replace the earlier MG34, citation needed, which was more expensive and took much longer to produce, but in the event both weapons were produced until the end of the war. The MG42 is a, is a proven record of reliability, durability, simplicity, and ease of operation. Um, and pretty much, I have to agree. Uh, I, I, I have actually fired an MG42, um, being in the British military service, in British service, as well as uh, living in, in, in here in the States. Uh, I have rented an MG42 and fired about 500 rounds uh, at the cost of about four grand. It was very expensive, but it was quite fun. Um, thank you, Fancy, but... I'm in the middle of doing a review, thank you. But uh, most importantly, um, the M60 machine gun, the PEG, aka the, the PEG, is actually a direct descendant from the MG42. It still even uses the top top load cover mechanism system from here. The only difference is it doesn't use is the barrel replacement system. On the MG42, um, you have to replace the barrel after about, I think it was uh, 2,000 rounds. The barrel, the, the asbestos barrel, uh, had to be replaced. Um, and so basically there's this little catch mechanism right here. Um, if you want to know more about the MG42, I will hot link a video uh, uh, somewhere here or over here as an annotation to a, another YouTube YouTuber by the name of Forgotten Weapons. Um, and he did an amazing teardown of an MG42. Um, and pretty much uh, the real MG42 was an amazing gun. The tripod was perfectly balanced for it, and it was actually used a lot in coastal defenses, along with the MG34. Now, in-game, what do I think of the MG42? It's an interesting weapon. Uh, it's, again, as you can see, it's extremely heavy for something that's uh, stamped, stamped, machined steel. Um, I think they're, 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 con they're thinking it's heavy simply because of its overall length. But the MG42 really didn't weigh that much. Um, it really didn't. It only weighed 25 pounds. Uh, the PEG, the M60, weighs a lot more than that, even with a full full belt. Now, bear in mind, um, most MG42s had a, uh, a, a strip ma a, a stripper clip, i.e., an extended magazine, a, a belt uh, of about 70 rounds. And um, the boxes, as you can see here, used to used to hold about 200 plus rounds per box. And so one guy would carry nothing but the ammunition and maybe uh, a machine pistol 34 an mp40 or even a gewehr rifle the other person would hold the tripod and more ammunition and maybe a rifle and the third the third guy would hold the actual rifle itself and a couple of couple of uh, boxes of ammunition and most mg42s were squads of two or three men they were not individual men now you could get the uh, rounder magazines that you see um here you can get the the, the, the the drum magazines for the MG42. Um, I'll, I'll insert a picture uh, of an MG42 uh, of a German soldier with the MG42 with a, a drum mag around here somewhere so you can see it for yourself. Um, however, um, the MG42 was an uh, uh, the MG42 it, it is still technically being used in certain countries even by today's standards. For example, the M60, uh, uh, um, both the, the field carried and the vehicle mounted uh, uh, machine gun, the American Jews, is based off the MG42. So, it's an interesting thought for you. Uh, I know that a lot of MG42s were converted into, uh, into uh, put into uh, BF109s. So, that's another thing. They replaced the MG34s. Now, in-game, um, where do I start? Basically, you will need to get the MG34 before you get the MG42. Now, let me explain. The MG34 is the entry-level light machine gun for the Germans. You will need this for several reasons. One, to get you used to the lack of mobility. And I do literally mean that. When you're carrying a light machine gun, you are not fast on the battlefield. Your stamina will go quick. You will be out of breath. You'll be out of position. 
You'll be out in the open and you will get picked off by snipers. Snipers, if recon, if they're good, know to go for, for light machine gun guys because they know you will turn their infantry friends into hamburger, into literally red sausage because that's what this gun does. Now, what I say by getting the MG34 first is simply because all the modifications that you unlock with the MG34 can be mounted on your M MG, uh, on your M MG42. For example, let's take a look at the ammunition. Now, as you can see, I do have everything, all the ammunition unlocked. I have everything unlocked for this gun. I just do not see the point in, in buying buying them because, well, frankly, I, I, you know, as you can see, I have already got the majority of them there. Now, notice that the heavy bolt, I have to buy. Okay? But if we go to the MG, MG42, all identical. Identical. Don't have to, see? I equipped the trigger because I got the trigger from my MG34. I took the heavy bolt off my M MG34. And once I've unlocked the chrome, uh, 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 the chrome line barrel, that will be unlocked for me too. Not that I suggest that you take it. Now, when it comes to modifying the MG42, this is my personal take on it. Yours might differ. Again, guys, customizing and modifying a weapon is only as good as how you handle it. Um, with the MG34, I, I used it at range. I used it at medium to long range, so I equipped it with the uh, Marksman's Ammo. field trigger and the heavy bolt now the heavy bolt and the field trigger do counteract each other you get the extra damage and the extra range however you do get stability issues and you do get rate of fire issues this is where the trigger comes in it repairs the rate of fire but again it does knock your i.e stability is recoil okay guys so it does knock your recoil up a little bit more this is why in with this mg this mg42 build I fire it in bursts. This is not a continuous fire weapon, unless you plan on shooting down birds in the sky. Other than that, do not fire this on four, unless, unless the target is, you know, point blank and they bum rushed you, but then that's when I usually stick switch, switch to my pistol. But as you can see, guys, your best bet is, the, I, again, this is my build. I don't, again, this is just my build, guys. You could go for something completely different if that's, uh, uh, what you want and as you can see it, you could equip the heavy spring you know it it does knock down the recoil all the way down but you still to, to even lower than what it would be stock and you still keep the 800 rounds per minute now I know usually the first thing people do is they want to whack whack nothing but rate of fire 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 1200 rounds per minute 1200 rounds and that's great and all but you've got to understand you've only got a 50 round magazine you're going to spend more time reloading if you do not have fun and it and I'll, I'll i'll explain the badges in a bit but like i said i went for a medium rate of fire i didn't go for a full-on rate of fire i went for a medium rate of fire no barrel mods because you don't need them okay barrel mods really don't do anything yeah bumping up the damage to maybe things like 30 33 34 points of damage wow big friggity whoop it's still going to be about a, a, a three to four hit kill and 800 rounds per minute that's far that, that's faster than the mp40 okay that's faster than the mp34 okay that's even faster than the mg34 okay this has got a really nice fast time to kill this is on par with my M m1 m2 carbine build okay on time to kill so you're looking at about two seconds less than a second i'd say a hair over a second if you've got a target full out and cover and you manage to hit center, center mass Bat, 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 bat. Of course, headshots for this machine gun is an instant kill. Okay? Because the damage profile is over 30, 30 points stock. Okay? Anything over 30 points of damage per bullet stock will always be a one-shot to the head, head kill. Okay? Some pistols are not a one-shot kill to the head. Just FYI. But as you can see, guys, you could go with the heavy spring. It's not going to mess around with your rate of fire. It's not. It's not going to mess around with your rate of fire at all. But it will mess with your damage profile just a touch so you know it, it's your call i mean you could just go without it again it, it, even with it it your rate of fire stays the same with the bolt or without it all it does is it increases your recoil touch see that's it so 
But if you're looking at saving costs, I know a lot of people tend to go just straight stock. Leave it at 1,028. Just go sh sh straight stock. And they just leave it at that. They just leave it at stock. And you know what? I don't blame them. I mean, it, it, it is an interesting build. It really is. See? 1,028 with just a trigger. That's still munch time. So, see, even without the trigger at 900 rounds. I, I know that. It, it, even... With just the trigger at 900 round, uh, it, it's. Do you see? Seven twenty. With the trigger, do you see? It's all about balancing the rate of fire to recoil with this gun. Um, don't necessarily worry about damage per se. The damage is fine. You just got to keep those those consecutive hits on target. And literally just watch this thing do its job. And I, I really do mean that. Just literally watch this thing do its job. So I'm just going to leave the trigger on it right now. And so there we go. 1,028. That's our current build. Now I do advise that you take maximum amount of ammunition. Reason being is those 50 rounds go fast in assault maps, and I do mean that. If you find a nice area with a good field of view that you can use to to halt the stem of enemy infantry coming into your to your uh, cap points, that 50 rep, those that 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 150 rounds is gone off to three reloads. It really is. So you're gonna have to take the maximum amount of ammunition. So now you're stuck with only two points left. Do you take AT weapons? Do you take anti-infantry weapons? Do you take a mix of both? I.e. the the Panzer uh, uh, Um I know a lot of people use those on infantry, and it really pisses the infantry off. Um, you know what? What do you use? Me, I use a pistol. If I'm caught out in the open mid reload, I I need something that's gonna protect me while I'm reloading. You know. If I've winged the guy a couple of times, two or three shots from the pistol will drop him. 400 rounds. I, again, I've gone for, for accuracy and fire rate. Uh, I could increase the accuracy of fucking little, literally see a metric shit ton by just adding sights. I just, I'm too cheap right this second, guys. Honestly, to tell the truth, I'm just too cheap to add sights. With my pistol, it's just light and spring, field adjusted trigger. And that's uh, pretty much it. Oh, and the, the false ammo, so that I can, you know, control the recoil and get better accuracy. You you always want accuracy with a pistol over power because all you got to do is two shots, tap, tap, double tap to the head. And yes, this pistol, a uh, 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 stock would do 30 points of damage, which would, would be a one shot, headshot kill, but it's not. So anyway, onto the medals. What badges do I use? Heavy set gold, of course, as I said, recon will be targeting you just simply because they see that big bad boy, they hear that big bad boy. The sound alone, the sound alone, guys, will cause, and I do mean this, will cause a lot, and I do mean a lot, a lot uh, of recon to, to hunt you down because they want to get rid of that MG42 because most recon stupidly want to pick up your MG42. Not realizing, screw it, I can't use my bolt rifle anymore. So they switch their bolt rifle, they drop your MP, your MG42 on the ground again. They they basically try and find a way of carrying both at the same time. So they've got a really good, uh, uh, um, I wouldn't say short range weapon, but they've got basically something other than a, than a bolt action. So heavy set is a must. You could also swap heavy set out for tight grip, uh, especially on a map like Depot, you know, where you're you're gonna need it. Uh, tight grip, of course, and no, no question, you're going in a fast reload. There is no ands, ifs, or buts about that. And of course, you only get fast reload from using uh, SMGs. So first things first, you will want to grind out your SMGs. Plus also, guys, if you really want to grind credits real fast to buy a 183,000 credit uh, 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 gun, may I make a simple suggestion? And you guys are going to scratch your head, but it worked for me, and it worked great. Uh, on average, I was getting anywhere between 12 to 20 kills with it. Machine pistol 34 
will they trigger upgrade that's it that's it just straight up go with the field trigger see that's it just straight up field trigger 600 rounds per minute 600 rounds per minute and that's it good enough to get the job done I use that's all I use stock ammo stock bolt stock everything else just the trigger and if you really 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 want to challenge stock mp40 aim center mass neck head you'll drop targets quick just bear in mind you know you guys have seen me my hip fire build with the mp40 and it's amazing but other than that guys um, that's how I ground it out I, I use my machine pistol 34 uh, on average, I was paying anywhere between low-end 300 credits, high-end 900 credits for overall repair of the, of the gun. Um, if it was an assault map, you're looking at you know, maybe 1,200, 1,300. Um, but you're banking at least 10 to 13 with veteran, plus your veteran bonus. And bear in mind, my soul, my, Schmidt is... Uh, 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 Schmidt is almost, ra uh, almost major. So... You gotta take into account ranks as well, but pretty much, guys. Like I said, he's rank 14, so you know, 16.50 an hour. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? It, it, ultimately, you can do it. It is a grind, but it's a it's a worthy grind. But before you buy the MG42, please, 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 please buy the MG34. You'll get used to the heaviness of the weapon. You know what? The way I see it is. I practiced with the MG34 so I could get used to the weight reduction, you know, the, the weight increase from the weapon. Um, so it changed my play style on certain maps, especially if it's like an open map like Mountain Town, where certain, certain capture zones are just way out in the open. And you know there's that one recon hiding by that bloody tree, literally thinking he's a druid, you know, waiting for, for you to pop your head out. Bang, you know, they, they're always there. So you have to change your, 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 your play style accordingly to your loadout. Um, smaller maps uh, like skirmishes or depot, you know, you just... With depot, you've really got to find a nice little area where, 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 most notably the bunker system, where you've got a nice lines of fire where you can give cover fire or, or find a nice area of the map, uh, most notably the second floor, where you can actually give support fire where your infantry is pushing up because that's your job that's the job of the heavy machine gun is to give a suppressing fire it is you know it, it's oh there's a jeep coming you know blah 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 you know light that jeep up jeep up make that driver freak out kill that gunner kill that passenger maybe even kill the driver leave the car stranded while the two guys are like oh shit oh shit oh shit bap 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 done you've got just got yourself a nice little triple you know guys uh use it to defend areas it's a de very defensive weapon um me uh, and a few others during my live stream uh, yesterday, uh, we were doing an assault map, and it was a three-way battle. Uh, we held the church for until we ran out of lives, quite literally. Um, we was all in the positives with our KDRs, and one of one of my fo uh, followers, uh, ironically, Fancy Pants, who you just saw, tried to invite me during this re video. Um, he used his MG42, and he was going ham, defensing it up. And it just kept building up my height, building up my strength, building up my want to get this gun. Now I have it. I have played a few games with it, guys. As you can see, uh, I have gotten a little bit further up in there. When I first got this gun, I was, I want to say, th three or four star bronze. I was back here. I've gained two ranks with it now. And like I said, um, it is a fun gun. I don't really care about the rest of these mods because I, I don't need them. So, leveling this gun is just a matter of taking my time and having fun. Um, but then again, guys, that's the ultimate goal of, of, of the game, right? Is to have fun. So, anyway, um, what is there to say about the gun? You know about the badges, which is plain and simple, heavy set gold, and fast reload. Um, they're the two that you need the most. Um, if you think you can deal, do, do, do without heavy set, which is very, very doubtful nowadays... Uh, with the uh, advent of Scout 2 barrels. Um, I suggest you could go for tight grip and fast reload. Um, and then literally be, or maybe even a, a scavenger. Uh, don't bother with quick point of defense. That that will not help you. An MG42 is not meant to be hit fired. 
it, it literally you could stick the barrel up up someone's nose, pull the trigger, and you'll kill three people five five maps over. Uh, uh, um, but not the guy right in front of you. Go figure. Uh, you could also go with Hoarder, so you get you know three extra magazines. So in this case, I'd be uh, an extra two, an extra 150 on top of the 250. So that's an extra four. I, I'd have 450 rounds plus on me. So that's a good that, that's a good long haul thing. Um, but unfortunately, there's no medics in this game, so you can't be revived if you're killed. So most people will always tell you go heavy set gold. It is a require. You know, it is a core requirement which it is for most recons and scout twos nowadays um but like i said um fast reload is a must that 6.4 second reload is just gonna get you killed um with fast reload it does knock it down to about four seconds ish just a little over four seconds um which is more manageable which is more doable um but yeah ultimately overall guys um I do like the MG42. I love it. it. It's really good. Look forward to seeing the MG42 uh, uh, montage where uh, I go ham on some guys. And uh, till then, guys, keep show slowing, keep the enemies dying. And I'll see you in uh, the next review video. Please, guys, leave a comment down below in the video description of what weapon you want to see a review of next. Until then, guys, take care. And I'll see you in the next one.